this is AAP .NET Core MVC Learn and Practice Course. Today in this lesson, I will guide you how to update the DB context and data model in Entity Framework Core. In previous session, we already learned how to use the command line to generate the DB context and also data model from the sequence server into the Visual Studio project. And in this lesson today, when we have some new table in the sequence server, I want to update the DB context and also want to generate a new model in Visual Studio. So I will guide you how to do it. Okay, let's get started. Now this is the sequence server we are working on in previous lesson. We have the database v8 core project underscore db. In this table, we have a user's table. So now I will go ahead to create a new table called db product. Right click on the table and I click on table. And we have ID, name, price, and quantity. For the ID, it should be integer, right, and vacha. Add name and vacha. For the price, should be float and quantity integer. I will make the ID here with the, the auto increase. And then I will set the table with the name E product or product and close this one. Come back to update a browser, refresh this one to make the new chain. And then you can see the product table has been added here. Right click on the product and select option the edit top 200 rows. And then I will go ahead to enter some value here into the product table on laptop. And then I have to enter three value into the table. Let me close this one. And then I will back to the Visual Studio. And this is the Visual Studio we are working on. You take a look into the solution browser and navigate to the model folder. And inside the entity folder, we have the V8 core project underscore DB contact. And this is the DB contact we have thus generated in the previous lesson. And also, we have the user, user class here, or you can call it either model, user model. And because in the previous lesson, we have only user table in the sequence server. So when we execute the command line to generate the DB contact, it will also generate user table. And in this lesson today, we have a one more table in product. So I want to update the DB contact and also add new data model inside the entity folder. So how to do it? You further close the DB contact and then go to the tool, Nugit Packet Manager, select option in Packet Manager Console. It will open up the Packet Manager Console and then I will tie in the command line here to, to update the DB contact. Let me tie in the command line, scarf for DB contact. And we need to enter the uh, connection string with the SQL server. And I will copy it later on. And we have some the packets. Microsoft open this one in dependency packets. And we will use the Microsoft.entity framework car. Here, this one. Let me copy the name. Ready here. And then I will have the up, output. Output as model. It should be the model folder and entity slash entity 
and I will copy the connection string between the Visual Studio and FPL Server database. I will open the Server X browser. And here we have the an instance of the connection string. Let me refresh this one. Right click on this instance and select the property. In the property, we select the connection string and then put it here. I will replace some of the star character here for add account. Enter. So we will be stuck successful. Yeah, but if we got the error message, it says that the VS score the project underscore db contact has been already exist in the directory. That means you cannot uh, override it for now. You have to use uh, a force flag in order to override the file. So let me use this force. Yeah, and enter. So you see, for now, the view is successful. We have a new model for product has been added here. Open it up and also open the DB contact. You see that for the DB contact, it has been updated by adding a new model creating for product here, product price quantity, and of course it will also replace the new cost for unconfigured string method here. If you remember, in previous session, we already did this or commented live code, but for now, the file will uh, arise. That means this uh, method will be back. We have to comment this one again, and then I will try to run the project. Open to the users on the menu, because I want to make sure that after I do some generate a new model for our project, the previous function is still working fine. Click on create news, enter the name here, that one. You see that the that one has been added into this table. That means after we have some the updates for our uh, DB contact and a new data border. So the previous functionality is still working fine. So now you can flow step by step in the previous lesson to create other controller for product and then also create some view. Okay, I hope this lesson will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next lesson.